Look at here, man. It must be OBS Sunday. We done run across another OBS vehicle. This here, I think, 93, 94. Man, this has been on the channel before. Remember, we was talking about the OBS. We helped build a, uh, do a swap on over the phone. This is the truck. 5.3. Um, LS Swap 5.3. Got the Riddler 20s on it, 295, 3520, good looking wheel. Uh, we're gonna hook the laptop to it and see what it's, we got going on. But we out here checking on it. Another OVS, y'all, they everywhere. Yeah, swaps and stuff, rims, big as monster trucks, wire harnesses, yeah, boy, we stock them up. Hit subscribe so you know you stay in the loop. Hit the bell, new videos coming soon. Yeah, swaps and stuff, rims, big as monster trucks, wire harnesses, yeah, boy, we stock them up. Hit subscribe so you know you stay in the loop. Hit the bell, new videos coming soon. What up, what up, what is happening? Yo, we are picking up the 4L60, the 4L60 now, for the 4L60 for the OBS 5.3 swap, man. I appreciate y'all following the build. Um, this is just, you know what I mean? It's just going to be a basic 5.3 setup, you know what I mean? Nothing, no, no cam or anything like that. You know, we're just going to drop the 5.3 in it. Uh, oh, 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 along with the 4L60, so we, so we got something to, uh, cruise in, it'll be a cruiser, like I said, we, we, we did a walk around of the truck, like I said, we don't have a whole lot to talk about with that until we get to the point of where we ready to put a transmission in and bolt up a motor mounts and such, we got the harness jumping, big things there coming in uh, we're gonna try to knock out this OBS and this Monte Carlo at the same time at the, at the same time excuse me but uh, we're gonna look at something else too man let me bring out something else another OBS uh, build going down uh, let me flip this camera around tie holes he's lowered Got flip kit on it yes yeah, it's, uh, it's automatic now right yeah. and you gonna you gonna make it a manual Yo, he's gonna turn it into a manual. He's a manual man, man, because look, he done did a 90, what, 95 Impala? 95 Impala. 2008 Toyo Yaris. He converted both of them over from automatics to manual. So he's gonna convert this over from automatic to manual, and you're gonna convert it to two wheel drive, and convert it over to two wheel drive all at the same time. He done already done did the, um, the drop kit on it i got pictures i'll throw the pictures in of the before and where we at now i don't you know i'm i like the two-door the two-door tahoe slash blazer big big boys anyway i do i do oh and uh he got this too man he got he got the and it is not it's not oh just a regular old trailblazer you know what i'm saying it's not just a regular trailblazer he got the real deal it's ss it's a SS, and then he got a what? SS Monte, or not Monte Carlo, SS uh, Impala, and then he got the, uh, is it CTSV automatic, or is it a, uh, it's manual? Then he got CTSV manual. So he ain't playing, y'all. He ain't playing, man. He ain't playing, he ain't playing. And we'll look at the OBS, OBS stuff. With it. Look, he's gonna open the door for us so we can check it out. And uh, the this is still a manual though, right? I mean, automatic. And we back. There's the CTSV man. You want to talk about some toys? He got the toys, y'all. CTSV 95 manual, and then and he do all the work itself, you know what I mean? Uh. We went for a ride in this for a while. I remember going for a ride in this. I got a little short video of this, I think, when you was driving it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
of the and it's it's manual. He converted it over to manual. Six speed T fifty six, six speed T fifty six, right? And uh, you see, he got the I rocks on the joint. And then at one time you was gonna do an LS swap on that, right? Yes. Man, you didn't change your mind. You're gonna do it on the OBS back yeah. or Tahoe. Yeah, and we got him. And we got the we got the oh uh, LS right here. This a low mile motor too, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Five three. So uh, he gonna drop that dude in the OBS with the manual. Hey man, the same thing I want to do to my OBS. So it's gonna be he he might beat me to the punch though. It look like he gonna beat me to the punch, y'all. But he got the LS world here, man. LS what was this? LS what's in the LS what? This is LS uh, LS six. LS six. The LS6 on this uh, CTSV. What year is it? 05. 05. And then what's in the Trailblazer? LS what? LS6 also? That's an LS2. Two. two. Yeah. 6.9. LS2. That's 07. 07. He got the toys, man. He got the toys. This is my cousin. It's John. He be checking the channel out from the from a distance, chilling, watching. <laughs> You know, some you know a lot of times you don't know who be watching, man. But when they when they say, yeah, why come you did that? Oh, you watching, ain't you? <laughs> but some people, you know, they don't comment and they, hey, no big deal. Y'all just keep watching, hit that bell, hit that like, hit that subscribe. LS6 CTSV. Cadillac like knew what they was doing when they built this bad boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, I, I like it. I like it. It's a slick ride. A lot more sportier ride than versus what a Cadillac usually comes out with. You know what I mean? This one here's got long two batters, uh, did the uh, shift skip, the lead on it, color uh, intake, 20 inch wheels, which is part of the five wheels for these things. So I had these, uh, they came from Jamaica, New York. Had a shop up there that uh, sells the blanks, and they drilled the pattern out for the uh, caddies, which the caddies are six bolt instead of five. They're six. Six lug on the Cadillac, six lug on the Trailblazer, right? Yes. Six lug on the Tahoe. Six lug on the Tahoe, but Tahoe big boat six. Mm -hmm. This is what they call a small boat six. Mm -hmm. What about Trailblazer? It's small, small boat. boat. Okay. But it's still different from. Oh, it's not the same as this. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> man. Well, education for y'all today, at least for me anyway. You know what I mean? And then, of course, with this one here, from the big Brembo brakes front and rear. You definitely got to have enough room. Mm -hmm. The wheels has got to be just right to so clear. Basically, when I ordered these, I told them about the Brembo brakes. So the back has a shim in the back for the spacer in the back. Bring it out probably just close to eighth of an inch. Enough to clear the caliper. The caliper. No rubbing, no nothing like that. So as far as exhaust, you just got full exhaust or any yeah, type of mud? It's got, uh, uh, got uh, long tube headers, factory exhaust and stuff like that. A lot of people say it sounds like a Mustang, but... Hey. I like them. I like them. We, we've been for a ride in this. Of course, this is, I want to say before I messed with YouTube, we went for mm -hmm. a ride in this. Yeah. And, and, and he don't get rid of nothing, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a car. He keeps it. So, And he can have a car show by himself. You know, we, we ain't even looked at his big boy. He got a big boy over there that he, he drives. Dirty right now, you black, you open yeah, yep, dust, dust a little bit. But yeah. look, let's see, I'll show y'all. Yeah, well, maybe it's not a y'all just telling me you just saying it's a manual. Yeah, a manual there it is, it's a manual, right. There, it's manual, and he's got the emergency brake cable, you know what I mean. And this is all his work. He do it himself, man. We got the pedals. Got the three pedals in it. Of course, you know he's factory manual here. And then we, we definitely going to follow the OBS on the manual setup there. You know what I mean? With the 5.3 swap. Mine's already manual. So, I'm ahead of the game a little bit. But, I still have to 
get the right clutch set up <coughs> for it to bolt to the 5.3. You know, they say use a 4.8 um, clutch, 4. Point, you know, all the 4.8 stuff. Wheel. Yep. So, y'all definitely keep watching. We go keep following the the OBS build he got going over here. And then, then y'all want to talk about music. Just back music. Got some slam. Well, that all came in the uh, OBS a, when I bought it. OBS. Yeah, I took all that out. I'm not running none of that stuff. It came with uh, 15s that are sitting back there on the table. Oh, Lord. Four yeah, of them? Yeah, four 15s. Um, there's the amps. The yeah, amps. I see that. And it had uh, the doors. Door had, uh, speaker eights, tweeters. Four eights and six and a half and four tweeters. Look at this. Ooh. Look at all this. Yeah. Beat down, y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little secret. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret now. My knowledge of messing with wires came from this guy right here. We sat in here. We sat in there. We sat in was He was wiring up something. And I said, man, I'm going to learn. <laughs> he said, hey, oh, we'll do it like this. Other. Hey, I follow his suit. Look, I didn't know how a relay worked. Hard at him. He, 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 he showed me what a relay, what it is and what it does, you know, and I ran with it from there. Yeah, circuit breakers. All right. So it's it's been a process of learning. And like I said, with, with, when you got older cousins that tend to want to learn and do things on their own, guess what? Just follow their suit a little bit, ask a million one questions, and then you might get an answer. Might get an answer. Look, I want you to learn how to do some of the upholstery. I'm doing. Uh, nah, I'm not interested in upholstery. <laughs> I'm not interested in painting. Hey, there's a there's a sewing machine over there. There's two over there. There's all the material right there. I'm not inter interested in painting, and I'm not interested in upholstery. <laughs> then here's the center console. He's gonna convert for the stick shift. Now there is somebody online that's done it, and then as a matter of fact, somebody just just recently posted a pictures of what they did for um, an OBS swap or a manual from uh, automatic to manual. And they used that same setup that you did, made their own. You know, a lot of people was clowning and all that. But guess what? Once you put this cover and all that over, you'll never see it. You'll never see it. You'll never see it. So, he'll be ready to rock. What, are you going to MV35, 45? Me a TR6060 or a T56, I'd like to go that route. Oh, but uh, what I'll end up doing is put the MV35 first, and then I'll probably see if I can find a probably a T56 because I have uh, the yeah. kit to convert it over to an LS T56, the mid plate, and all that stuff. I've got everything to do it, so just there it is. Just find a good transmission. And uh, they there is that uh, I can't remember what it is, they're using. They're Colorado's, using, yes, out of Colorado's. I don't know how well they hold up. You know, I mean, I know a lot of guys, there's a guy that's on there now, he's got a two-wheel drive with a 5.3 and a turbo and a manual. I don't know how well he's going to hold up. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he beats it. Yeah. I'm just, I cruise. I don't, I don't race him. Yep, don't no that. racing, none of that. He said he's cruising, like I said. And they, like I said, he, he's got a car show himself. You know, all he got to do is just park them all out and, you know. I do work. Right now, I'm, doing, I'm working my mom's BMW right there. Yeah, BMW. And not only is he working on domestic, he's doing foreign also. Foreign also. I did find out that some of those BMW 6 lug or 5 lug wheels fit on the newer... Um, SS, uh, the SS's. Mm -hmm. they yep. They share the same boat pattern, which is crazy. There's this big boy, y'all. Look at this. We're going to zoom in on it. We're going to zoom in on the big boy. Look at that. Powder coated 20s, 20, 22s, match the car. Man. And that's the Yaris converted from a automatic to a manual. 160 miles to the gallon. Hey, hey, look, look. We'll leave Big Boy set. We'll drive him every now and then, but we'll we'll drive the Yaris, and we definitely went from a manual 
from automatic to a manual, you saved yourself. Well, it woke it up. Woke it up? It woke it up. Because, I mean, even just to pass traffic sometimes, I would have to drop it down in the second gear, the automatic, to even get around people. Yeah. People would feel sorry for me, hit the brakes and let me go around. <laughs> <laughs> I run into that problem when I had that S10. Yeah. They feel sorry for me, let me go around, just laugh. But once I put that uh, manual in there, it's a whole different animal. Man. Whole different animal now. So, yeah, y'all definitely keep keep watching because the, the OBS thing is hot. It's been hot, but it's, it's real hot, you know, for some reason right now. And this is crazy, man. We, we're talking about the two-wheel drive Tahoes and the two-wheel drive Blazers and the Yukons. Or not two-wheel, but the two-door. You know, for a minute there, whenever you don't have one, you never see them. And the moment that you get one, they're everywhere. Man, I'm all, I actually seen one today. I'm like, where are these things popping up from, man? You know, because the two door thing for a minute, everybody was wanting the, the four door because of you know kids, family, whatever. Yeah, well, that's where I first started off. I had a four door in '95. Yeah. Yep. 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 The full size yeah. SUV was him. Now we all got SUVs. <laughs> everybody do. Everybody running SUVs and trucks and. Mm -hmm. And just basically the, the LS family type of v, uh, engine, power plant, and most of what we got. Everybody uh, in the family. OBS uh, parts truck over here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Look, look. Let's go over here and look at this parts truck. All right, look at this, man. It looks familiar. It looks like mine. You would think, I need to come over here and just take this right here. I need to cut this out <laughs> and graft it to mine because mine is shot. But this is his parts truck for sale with a title. Yeah. What year is this? That's a uh, 96. 96. Which would be a Tahoe also, right? Yes. And two wheel drive, factory two wheel factory drive. Factory two wheel drive, uh, 350? Yeah, it's got the, uh, what's left of the block is in there. Yeah. Okay. Now imagine somebody could use this, man, for real. If you got one and you and, and nine times out of 10, guess what they look like? Mine, full of rust. Why won't you get it? Man, I got too many vehicles. I would love to have it. Don't get me wrong. But that's what's left of the engine. Well, that's why I bought it. But check this out. Pull that dude out. Is this is this the transmission? Mm hmm Transmission right there. 460? I've got this one, and then I've got another one over in storage. Oh, okay. Look at him, man. He over here got parts galore. He got parts galore. Hiding. Hiding. This is two-wheel drive, so it's got the 460. And then, of course, good, good, good metal, good metal, good floors. You know, anything that's dented up, it ain't hard to fix. Ain't rusted out. Got you keeping the seats, or they let. So we got some seats to go with it. Wheels don't go with it. The wheels don't. Okay, those are his original. Those are his originals, I think. For his. These came off the parts car. Okay. 94 Well, they don't go. He <laughs> said they don't go. No, they don't go. They ain't going. They, go. they fit, but don't go. Man, I need these seats for that OBS. Uh, that, that short bit OBS I'm messing with. The, See all the metal inside here. It's, it's solid. All solid. It's all solid. Roof solid. Oh, man. So anybody need a shell or, you know, you want to start from nothing with an OBS build, two-wheel drive, man, here it is. And I know there's plenty of y'all out there that's like, man, I really want one of those two-door Tahoes, one of those two-door Blazers, a two-door Yukon, or, you know, here's one for you with a title. Yeah. Granted, you know. You may have to get a couple things. It does got a, a roll pan on it. Got a roll pan in it. Um, but for the most part, the parts that you need is here. Yeah. You know, the knickknack stuff you get to look for, mm -hmm. which is still out there. Can, if these are interchangeable from a two four from a um, four door, correct? Mm -hmm. This is interchangeable from a four door, correct? Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, good up the glass, even the rear glass, even the rear glass. Even the rear glass. Four you can uh, get rid of the wiper and stuff. You can get the factory glass off one of the four doors. I got you. And then make this a solid glass. Solid get glass. Rid of the wiper. Man, now my question is: Is it? Is this a difference from mine to this? There's no. These are all the same as far as the uh, 93s to the 99. That's okay. all the same. Same glass. Okay. 
So we 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 rocking and rolling, y'all. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. So, hey, y'all get a chance. Y'all interested, man? Just hit the you know message. Say something in the comments. Hit me in the email. The email is, will be in the description of the video. If y'all looking for parts or looking for the, he wants to get rid of the whole truck versus trying to just sell parts off from it. You know, he would love to just have the whole thing gone. Good offer, come get it. Look at this big boy. Look at this big boy. And hey, he's not Chevy specific. You see, this is Toyota. Big boy. Toyota. Big boy. BMW over there. So, you know, he's working out, doing his thing. Um, I like this color plus the wheels really, really, really do the thing. You know, I describe, I tell somebody that, hey, you ever seen this truck? He said, oh, yeah, the one with the wheel. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I see that. They know exactly who that truck is. When I say the ones with the wheels that match on here, and I was just now noticed that that's a five lug mm -hmm. versus six lug that most of big Chevy would be six lug. Right. Now, the new Toyota Tundras, the uh, fourth gens, the 2022s and stuff, they went back to the six lug. And what what motor this got? 5.7. The five seven. I heard they done away with that. Yeah. They went to, uh, V6, uh, twin turbo V6, man. Sam. Yeah, it seems like they're going to be screaming, too, uh, up in the RPMs all the time, too. Anytime you go to a smaller, you know, size motor. The about that is uh, I seen a Ford EcoBoost in the shop the other day, and they had to lift the cab yeah. off the truck. To change the turbo. There you go. There ain't no way, man. Why would I want that? And it was over $2,500 just in labor. 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 That's not too important. Who wants that, man? I want this... You know, I want this new truck. I want I want to grab this new truck. It looks nice, but then when a, it drops a turbo, mm -hmm. you know, and, it, and it's out of warranty, then what do you do? You know what I'm saying? Well, the price on these, this gen or third gens like this, it really, really, really went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're and averaging, I know, I've seen anywhere from forty-five up to $100,000, depending on the mileage. And they hold their value. They hold their value. That's one thing I say about a Toyota, man. They hold they value. If not, if not, you know, most times they say, oh, you buy a car, it depreciates. It seems like a Toyota itself appreciates. Yeah. You know, Even the Yaris, it's in like, value. like a BMW, they appreciate. Yeah. They, you know, it just certain cars, they don't, they don't really hold the value that you would think they would over time. But like when he just saying that they discontinued this engine. A lot of people, man, they're like, oh, let me go out and get one of these ones with the big boy motor, and I ain't messing with this V6 with twin turbo. You think turbo, yeah, that's nice, but, huh. Hey, we, uh, we've rode in that. We've been to LS Fest several times in that, and it's got plenty of power. I don't I don't see how anybody would want to know on an LS Fest. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did with my janky trailer. My janky trailer. Yeah. Well, five hours there and eight hours back. Five hours there and eight hours back. Yeah, man. He look. He said, I ain't borrowing no trailer from you again. He said, shoot, it cost me three extra hours just from using your trailer. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, y'all, definitely keep watching. Thumbs up the video. I'm going to try to bring y'all some more. We're going to try to follow this bill. As a matter of fact, tell us what we got going on, what you done did right here on the Tahoe so far. And so you got a flip kit? You got a six-inch flip kit, but the one that I put on is for a pickup truck, and I didn't realize that. But I do have the appropriate SUV flip kit. I did um, torsion keys on the front. Uh, Weston, uh, their four, it's a four-inch drop on the front. And put in a four six, and I've got more than six inches in the back. I got you. So basically, I'm gonna switch those kits out. There's a built it built up kit in the back right now, six inch, but it's for a pickup truck. And I didn't realize I didn't do the C notch and stuff. I, you know, when I look at the frame, look at the notch, I said, Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. But I have the, the appropriate C notch and stuff, so it'll all be taken care of probably in the next week or so. There it is. There it is. So the front is just the front's just a set of keys and that's it. That's it. That's simple enough. Mm -hmm. And the rear is the flip kit, which you you say you want to bring it back up a little bit. You want it, I guess, set level. Set level. Sitting well, the back sitting by where the front is. I got you. So that's four inches in the front, and I'll probably do maybe five in the back. And that particular uh, wheel is a twenty. 
Yes, that is a GMC Denali 20 I bought for a, a guy off Marketplace uh, over in Evansville, Indiana. So, brand so. new tires, but uh, the chrome on those, uh, they flake and stuff like that. Those, those there were just to get rid of the 26s that you bought. Hey, y'all, he's talking to <laughs> saying too much to y'all. Y'all ain't seen them and probably won't see them until it's, you know, they mounted up on something. You'll see soon enough. But, as a matter of fact, you'll see it. Like I said, I'm going to throw a picture in of what it looked like. And then what he, what he got going on now. So, hey, I commend him for turning the wrenches and doing the thing himself. But, uh, yeah, man, so y'all keep watching, man. We're going to follow this bill. By watching him do what he is, it kind of make me want to hurry up and get on mine. But, of course, there's other stuff in front of it. So it's got to wait. But, well, you know, once he gets the manual in there, we're going to go for a ride. And uh, y'all definitely going to have to be like, yeah, I watched it from the jump. Keep watching it from the jump. So, We'll holler back, man. Be blessed. Stay blessed.